as an enemy of the people and the bourgeois music born in the USA. The mass media carried out an anti-jazz campaign and Soyuz Multfilm contributed by making a film for children called Someone Else's Voice. A Soviet bird, a magpie to be exact, returns home from abroad. She gives a concert. Instead of singing traditional Soviet songs, she sings jazz. The Soviet birds are appalled by the sounds of the forbidden foreign music. They boo. And drive her from the forest. It was very... Uh important for Soviet propaganda to show hostility of these capitalist surrounding because uh, we built very strong military industrial complex. We built a military country and we were told that we have to defend ourselves, not to uh, invade other countries, but defend ourselves because America wants to, to invade Russia. In 1972, Soyuz Multfilm produced Ave Maria, which was also known by the title Against American Aggression in Vietnam. It was made by Ivan Ivanovano, the Soviet Union's most renowned director of animated films for children. Наши мужья летят над чужою страной. Они превращают землю в пустыню кровавого цвета. Земля умирает, а конца войне этой нету. На Боингах черных, порой воровской и ночной, Наши мужья летят над чужою страной. И плачут жены, и плачут дети за морем где-то. Мы слышим плач их, а конца войне этой нету. На Боингах черных воровскими ночными часами Мужья убивают людей и становятся мертвыми сами. И нам почтальоны повестки несут и несут на рассветах Повестки о смерти мужей, а конца войне этой нету.
In the Soviet Union, having more money than your neighbor was evil. Gold was called the yellow devil. By contrast, in capitalist America, even a dog could become a millionaire. A rich old lady dies. When the relatives gather for the reading of the will, they discover she has left her substantial fortune to her beloved dog. Fifth Avenue. He has chefs, barbers, and live-in servants. He goes to chic nightclubs. a member of the Millionaire Club and a banker. He barks whenever he hears the word peace. <laughs> <laughs> 